A man walks into a bar and orders a 21-year-old whiskey. He takes a sip and then spits it out. Huh, I asked for a 21-year-old. This is 18 years. I'm not paying. Give me a 12-year-old cognac. The bartender serves him, and the man spits it out again. This is only 10 years. I'm not paying. The bartender starts getting frustrated. After more and more drinks with the same reaction, the bartender serves another one and says, this one's on the house. The man takes a sip and immediately spits it out. This tastes like pee. Now tell me, how old am I? A man wanted to increase his arm strength, so he decided to start a daily lifting routine. He started by holding a potato sack in each hand, lifting his arms from his sides and holding them up for five minutes. He repeated this simple exercise daily for a week. Feeling like he wasn't making much progress, at the start of the second week, he instead lifted two potato sacks in each hand. Each week, he would add another potato sack, so that just over a month in, he was holding five sacks in each hand. Finally, at the start of the sixth week, disappointed by the lack of results, he decided to make a drastic change to his routine. He went back down to one sack in each hand, but this time, he put a potato in each sack. Back. The FBI had an open position for an assassin. After all the background checks, interviews, and testing were completed, they had narrowed the field down to three possible agents. For the final test, the FBI agents took one of the men to a large metal door and handed him a gun. We must know that you will follow your instructions no matter what the circumstances. Inside the room, you will find your wife sitting in a chair. We need you to kill her, the man said. You can't be serious. I could never shoot my wife. The agent said, then you're not the right man for this job. Take your wife and go home. The second man was given the same instructions. He took the gun and went into the room. All was quiet for about five minutes. The man came out with tears in his eyes. I tried, but I can't kill my wife. The agent said, you don't have what it takes. Take your wife home. Finally, the last man was given the same instructions to kill his wife. He took the gun and went into the room. Shots were heard, one after another. They heard screaming, crashing, banging on the walls. After a few minutes, all was quiet. The door opened slowly and there stood the man, wiping the sweat from his brow. Some uh, idiot loaded the gun with blanks, he said. I had to strangle her to death. A doctor comes into a guy's hospital room. Doctor, I've got good news and bad news. Patient, give me the bad news first, doc. I can take it. Doctor, in order to save your life, we're gonna have to amputate both your legs. Patient, my legs? Oh no. After a minute, he composes himself. Patient, what could possibly be good news after that? Doctor, well, you see that guy over there in the next bed? He wants to buy your slippers. This woman goes into a funeral home to make arrangements for her husband's funeral. She tells the director that she wants her husband to be buried in a dark blue suit. He asks, wouldn't it just be easier to bury him in the black suit that he's wearing? But she insists that it must be a blue suit and gives him a blank check to buy one. When she comes back for the funeral, she sees her husband in the coffin and he is wearing a beautiful blue suit. She tells the funeral director how much she loves the suit and asks how much it cost. He says, actually, it didn't cost anything. The funniest thing happened. As soon as you left, another corpse was brought in. This one wearing a blue suit. I noticed that they were about the same size and asked the other widow if she would mind if her husband were buried in a black suit. She said that was fine with her, so I switched the heads. My friend asked me, you're offered 50 grand, but if you accept it, the person you hate the most in the world will get 100 grand. Are you taking it? Me. Of course. Why wouldn't I want 150 grand? In a small town out west, an old priest became tired of listening to all the details when parishioners would confess that they had committed adultery. So he asked everyone to simply say, I've fallen, during their confession. This code word was then used for many years. Eventually, the old priest retires, and a new one took his place. During his first week, the new priest starts to get concerned because everyone is complaining about falling. So the priest went to see the town mayor and suggested that maybe the sidewalks needed repairs to prevent people from falling so often. The mayor starts laughing because he realizes that the new priest doesn't know that fallen is a code word. The confused priest then says, I don't know why you're laughing, because your own wife fell down three times this week. <laughs>